Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we'd like to show you the Satorius MA35 Moisture Balance. This is one of our most popular moisture balances and one of the reasons why most of the competitor models on the market today all use a halogen bulb and those halogen bulbs burn out. So if you look here towards the top here of the lid we have two metal tubular heating elements and the beauty about the metal tubular heating elements is these have a lot uh, longer lifespan than a halogen bulb. Halogen bulbs a lot of time um, staff at your facility might decide to clean the unit and if they touch the halogen bulb the bulb will burn out in a matter of a few hours. With the this is a metal tubular it really will last a lifetime. So this is the MA35, the heating element again is the metal tubular. It does take a little bit longer to heat up and we just want to go over some of the features and how to use this moisture balance. So this is the MA35 non-FDA version. So the FDA version, you'll notice here we have glass. On the FDA version, there are metal blanks in the front. And the requirement here is if you're a production facility where food um, is being produced and you want to do some testing typically and you want to check with your regulatory people typically glass is not allowed on the production floor so this is the non FDA version and I can show you we'll just move this out of the way here and I'll just show you real quickly I have another unit this is the exact same unit but this unit has the metal blanks, so you'll see right in the front, there's no glass. So we would call this the MA35 FDA, or Sartorius would call it the V2 version. So we're going to demonstrate the non-FDA, since the non-FDAs, typically, we sell more of these, uh, the non-FDA version. So let me put this back over. So we have it. <clears throat> So, you'll notice here on the LCD display at the top, um, it shows you can adjust the temperature and basically on this moisture balance you can adjust the temperature anywhere from 40 degrees C up to 160. So, the default out of the box is 105. And then we have auto mode. You can put this in manual mode. This is in auto mode and we'll do a demonstration showing how to, how to use the moisture balance. So the moisture balance does take a little bit of time to run a test and what we're going to do is we made a solution. Basically uh, in this solution right here this is going to be 90, gra um, 90 grams of water, 10 grams of salt. So we should be getting 10 percent solids or so. Um, so let's go over and show you how to run this test. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put on the aluminum moisture pan. So you put the aluminum moisture pan on the balance and we're going to be using a filter pad. Now we sell these, these filter pads and pans for all the manufacturers. So you can see on a filter pad itself you have, there's a smooth side and there's a rough side. And so we're going to put a liquid on here so we'll have the rough side up. And basically with this solution that we made, we'll simply take a syringe and uh, spread it on there. And so the first thing you want to do when you set up your balance is we put the pan and the pad on so you'll notice we need to tear it out. Start this all over again. So I'm going to hit clear to start the test. It's zero zero. I put my pan and pad on the moisture balance and the first thing we want to do is we want to tear it out. So we have tear highlighted over here, we'll hit enter. And so now it's been teared out. When you run a test, you typically want to, if it's a, a liquid or a slurry like this, you want, to tr you want to put it on the pad in a circular motion and you don't want it to clump up. Now the ideal goal is to have at least two to five grams. The more you put on, the longer the test is going to take. So I put on 2.08 grams of solution. And one simply just closes the door and 
to the start here, we hit enter, the test will run. So the test is running, and as this test runs, you'll see the time here. This is 0.0, .0 and then we'll see 0.1. So this is a tenth of a minute, and the test is running, and I have it in percent solids. So we'll see what happens as the test goes. So let me just go over some of the other features while this moisture balance is running its test. So basically, the Sartorius MA35 is a basic moisture balance. Um, it's user-friendly design, has one milligram resolution, comes standard with an RS-232 interface. You're able to increment the temperature in one degree Celsius. So competitive models on the market you want to look at. Many of them you have to increment in five, five degrees increments. The Sartorius offers one degree. Your temperature range again is 140 to 160. Um, there are some other moisture balances on the market that can go higher. Uh, this one, the mat's temperature is 160 degrees C. Uh, it's no longer necessary to uh, program auto shutoff parameters when you have it in the auto mode. The MA35 continuously monitors the drying process and you can see as the test is being ran, the percent moisture is being shown. So right now we're at 3.7 Scrolling 3.8. Basically, when the moisture balance doesn't, deter, uh, doesn't sense any more weight loss, it would automatically stop in the auto mode. The uh, heating is achieved by the two metal tubular heating elements that I mentioned. These provide 360 degrees of uh, 360 degree watts of power. Uh, the heating element is also called by some people as a dark radiator. It's extremely rugged and durable. Compared to infrareds, as I mentioned before, with halogen, the bulbs burn out. Halogen does have the benefit of coming to temperature quicker, but you also overshoot. So we're a big, uh, a big seller of going with metal tubular or ceramic since you don't overshoot and burn the item that you're trying to determine the percent moisture. We've already spoke about the difference between the two units in regards to this unit has the glass in the front versus going with the FDA version, which is both FDA and HACCC, HACCP compliant for uh, certain food processing plants where glass is prohibited. The setup of the moisture balance in auto mode is simple, but you can also go into manual and set whatever parameters you pretty much want. Again, those parameters would be anywhere from 40 degrees C to 160 degrees C. Uh, Time-wise, you can have the time anywhere from 0.1 minute all the way up to 99 minutes. Most people do run this unit in auto mode because it's so simple to run. Leveling of the balance is achieved by four adjustable feet. Now this balance does not have a sprint bubble uh, but we have a nice large sprint bubble that we use for setting up balances. We like a bigger bubble and we actually bought this at Home Depot for about three bucks. So you would just set this on your balance to level it. Very very easy to do. Um, or you just adjust the feet and do it by eye. We'd really recommend a bubble leveler. Um, so once the uh, balance is adjusted and level, again, just put the pan on and tear it out. So on the display itself, as we see this running, the upper left-hand corner here is showing you the drying parameters all together. So you'll see here we have it on 105. You'll see here that we have it in auto mode. Um, on the right-hand side, it's showing us basically the time. We're up to about four minutes on this. Your weigh results right in the main window, and we have a graphical symbol here showing at the top the heating element is on, and there's something on the pan itself. The bottom line here that's not shown is all for functions for setting up the balance. For display modes, we have it right now in percent moisture. You can also do dry weight ratio and residual weight, being just grams alone. Um, this balance works off of, uh, we describe it as a thermogravimetric moisture analyzer. Big word for basically saying, look, this is, uh, 
the balance stores the initial weight minus the final weight divided by the initial weight to give you the percent solids or what we would say uh, loss of weight. There are alternative methods. You have a oven drying method. There's also Carl Fisher, which Carl Fisher uses iodine and toxic waste. So when you run a sample, you basically want to be between that three to five gram is ideal. People use this for tortilla chips. Uh, they also use it for uh, coffee. You can run coffee. So if you were to have some granula, you want to put your sample on your pan and spread it out. You don't want any clumps at all. The goal is to get maximum surface area to run your test. And the balance comes standard with a power cord. Comes with a pair of tweezers so you can lift up your pan. And from the manufacturer Sartorius, you would get, I believe there's 50 disposable moisture pans here. So they give you a big box, but it's not filled with pans. So that's how it comes standard. We also sell, at a great discount also, you can buy moisture pans. They come 500 to a master cotton. So this would be a master cotton right here. There are 10 boxes of 50. And we sell this for about, oh, $160 or so. It's a lot less then um, if you were to buy them directly from Sartorius, uh, these moisture pans also work on Mettler balances and uh, Ahos balances Atom equipment. Again, on the filter pads, filter pads are used for any kind of material that you would have what we call sputter. If you were trying to determine the percent moisture, for example, of ketchup, and you put this up, so our test is done, you just heard the moisture balance beep here, and you'll see here, so we have 90.99% moisture. So solids-wise, we have about 10%, uh, 9% solids. So when I made this solution here, I mean, it's roughly about 10%. This is how the balance works, puts out the readings. Very, very simple. One would just open up the draft shield, or the hood on this, not a draft shield, I'm sorry, and just use your tweezers and you would lift off the pan. You would dispose of this and to run another test you would simply just put on another moisture pan. So when the test is all done you can see your results. Very easy to use. Just simply hit enter. Brings the balance back to the setup stage and again this is on the lower part of the display. These are all the functions. So to tear, you'll see it's highlighted right there. If we move the balance, if we move this over to the left, one just presses the arrow, we're into program. We could get into the program mode and control whether it, what temperature to run it at, how long to run it at, if it's a manual or auto mode. Um, you have set here. You could actually store the parameters. Now the MA35 only has one memory location. So you could store these if you wanted to do a manual mode. If you wanted to store those parameters, you wanted to run it at 145 degrees C for 13 minutes, whatever it is, you could actually store it in memory. And then there's Cal, if you wanted to calibrate it, this would require a 30 gram optional mass. So the balance is very simple. Uh, again, you just have these two arrows here to control the lower menu. You have the enter key to enter. So again, since it's highlighted right here for tear, if I was just to put on a pan itself, you can see the pan weighs about 2.2 grams. Since tear is highlighted, you hit enter, it would zero it out. So um, the clear CF is to clear function, and this is your power. You also have a print button. The print would be used if you were sending the data to a PC or you bought the optional Sartorius printer. So again, uh, we are Precision Weigh and Balances. We're an authorized Satorius dealer. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. And this was our demonstration of the Satorius MA35. Thanks for watching this video.